Okay, we're on Megillah, Paragimel, Mishnah Aleph, the first Mishnah in the, in the third chapter of Masechet Megillah. So we're gonna, we've been talking until now about Megillah reading, and now we're going to talk in this parak, in this chapter, about Torah reading. So before we do that, the Mishnah is going to turn to some details about purchasing of shuls and things that have, are called Divrei Kedusha, things that Yeshba Kedusha. So the Mishnah says a very interesting rule. I'm going to, I'm going to show you what the Bartonura says. The, Mishnah, the rule is, Ma'alin Bakodesh. This is the principle that's a very important halachic principle. We raise things in sanctity and purity and, and holiness, and we don't lower them. So therefore, based on that rule of ma'alin bakodesh, ma'alin bakodesh, you raise things in sanctity, that determines what you can do with things that have certain sanctity. So therefore, the mission is going to say that if you want to sell something that has sanctity, you have to buy something of greater sanctity. So says the Mishnah, B'nei ir shemach ruchovashil ir, if members of this city sold Rehova this, the, this, the, the city area, the Rehova, the, the common area of the city, so with the money that you buy, then you can, the money that you, that you earn from the sale of the Rehova you can buy a Beit Knesset, you can buy a Shul. Okay, now, the, obviously the Gemara says, Rehova what kind of sanctity does it have? So the Bartirua quotes the Gemara. The Gemara says, Yesh ba On fast days, remember, within a Masechet they would go out into the public square. So it has a level of sanctity. But the Gemara says, Chachamim plige al stam matnitin. The Chachamim argue on this stam mishnah, stam mishnah, this unauthored mishnah. The Amre, and they say, It doesn't have any sanctity, the square. The only, only time you ever daven in the town square is, uh, you know, akrai ba'ama, very temporarily, very, you know, you do it akrai ba'ama, you know, on a, on a, akrai is on a, on a on a temporary basis. So that's not, that doesn't have holiness. So they disagree with this whole first line. If you sell, if you guys want to sell the square of the Yerlech HaChamim, say, do whatever you want with it. But, Beit HaKneset, let's say they sold the shul, Lokim Teva, you can buy, you buy a Teva, an ark. Teva, Lokim, Mitpachot, Mitpachot, they, you, if you sell a te- ark, you buy Mitpachot. Mitpachot are the cloths used to cover the Torah. Mitpachot, if you sell Mitpachot, Lokim, Sfarim. Sfarim, the Bartanura here says, Nevi'im Uktuvim. Or you, can, you buy Nevi'im Uktuvim. It's interesting. If you sell a show, you buy an ark. Gemara says, I'm just going back for a second, Davka Beknesset Dikfarimhu. This is only the Beknesset, the Gemara says, in the villages where it belongs to a small group of people. Of a Beknesset Dikrachim, but the Beknesset of the larger villages or the cities, since people come from all over the place, Havia Dirabim, it belongs to the community. Velo And you can't sell it. So the permission to sell is only in a small community, not in a big community. So if they buy Svarim, you buy Nuvim uh, Ketuvim. Svarim, if you sell Svarim, Lokim Torah, then you buy a Sefer Torah. Aval Imachu Torah, if they sold the Torah, Loikhu Svarim, then you can't buy Svarim because it's lowering the level. Svarim Loikhu Mitpachot. Similarly, if you sell books, Nuvim Ketuvim, you can't sell, you can't buy coverings. Mitpachot Loikhu Teva. If you sold the coverings, you can't buy an ark. If they sold an ark, you can't buy a shul. Similarly, in the Beknesset, you can't you cannot uh, buy the, the town square or a city area or public area. The same rule is true. Let's say you bought something of her, you have leftover money. So you can't use the leftover money to buy something of lesser kedusha. Similarly, you can't sell something which belongs to the community to an individual. Because in this case, you're lowering its, it from its, its, from its sanctity. Rabbi Yudah says the more people it's related to, it's associated with, the greater the sanctity. They said, So if that was true, then you couldn't sell something from a big city to a smaller city because there's less people, because we don't have the principle. We have the principle of Birov Am Hadrat Melech. And since we don't find any kind of halacha that Kahati says that says you can't sell from a big city, similarly, uh, you can sell things from Rabim, the communal thing, you can sell the communal whatever, you know, rental car belongs to the community, you can sell it to, you know, the community van, you can sell it to an individual, and that's not a problem. We'll stop here, and as we always do, dedicate our learning to the memory of my father, Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a great day.